This is completely random and uncalled for. Thankfully, me browsing the Dokkan subreddit right before I was about to do my AP statistics homework, I was able to find a very intriguing post of a very strange man who has very high beliefs in his character Jiren, who he thinks is the best character in all of fiction. He claims Jiren is amazing. Uh, if you know me, you know Jiren is one of my worst fictional enemies of all time. Jiren is a bad character. He's written bad. Okay, so we're gonna read this passage. It is literally a passage. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten paragraphs of this man. His name is Virtual Crow. He says he's extremely intelligent. And we're going to read this essay on um, my journey. Read supposedly an essay? <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, guys. So. I'm, I'm gonna get into this right now. I want all the sound off on Overwatch. <laughs> okay. Oh Start to finish. We're gonna decipher this man's this man's thing. I've been waiting to find a Jiren fan. Okay. G Genji's gonna dance in the background. <laughs> Jiren, Jiren the Gray. Where to begin? The never, this is all this is all quotation marks, by the way. I've never seen something like this. Jiren the Gray. Perhaps we should start with Jiren's design. In my opinion, one of Jiren's... One of his worst qualities. On the surface, it appears very simplistic and possibly even generic. A passé take on the popular conception of what ex extraterrestrials may look like. This, of course, is the outlook of those less learned and knowledgeable of Dragon Ball. To create powerful characters with simplistic and basic designs is Toriyama's hallmark. And, upon closer scrutiny, Jiren's rather unremarkable design perfectly reflects a ca his character, a simple warrior with but one goal, to achieve ultimate strength. He isn't interested in recognition and fanfare. He has no time for flashy transformations and techniques that merely imitate growth. No, it is his personal desire to facilitate growth, spiritual growth, physical growth, and intellectual growth. A rather straightforward and simple goal, much like his overall design. Those of gener genre, genre savvy or a sharp enough intellect could immediately glean various aspects of Jiren's character simply by laying eyes on him. Okay, so that's the first paragraph. And I'd like to say, when you put it like that, yes, Jiren did have one goal. It was to achieve power, Christian. That's all he wanted. All he wanted to do was get stronger. It's a simple goal. And I guess that reflects his simple design of being a bald-headed piece of Play-Doh. <laughs> Next paragraph. I didn't see all Two, that. his color scheme reflects his inner virtues. Crimson, symbolizing his passion for an unwavering belief in attaining his goals, ensuring its color with his aura. And black, obviously symbolizing the bottomless void and ever-ending journey of bettering oneself. Pause real quick. No. You went way too deep in analyzing this man's red and black spandex outfit, okay? <laughs> All the Pride Troopers wear that. We don't even know if Jiren created the Pied, Pride Troopers outfit. How do you know the black <laughs> represents his bottomless void of edginess? You think it, that freaking Tope over there is wearing the black because he has depression? Like, come on. Okay. A journey that truly never ends. Even his gray skin. Far from simply being a ripoff of the greys that were so popular in the 50s, symbolizes his ultimate neutra neutrality, being itself a neutral color. He's not interested in fame, fortune, conquering, or dominating, like grey symbolizes. Jiren seeks only to achieve his goals without the burden of interpersonal ties or outside distractions. Now, on to the meats of this fan fascinating character. At first glance, Jiren character. seems standoffish, stoic, and perhaps unfriendly and selfish. Upon the revelation of his backstory, we learn that his master... What backstory? What backstory? That his master and family were killed by a villain that Jiren was powerless to stop. His master, the man who instilled 
with Din Djarin, his passion for love for and uh, typo for love of martial arts and the cultivation of pure inner strength was taken from him by an evil doer. And in that moment, Djarin realized two things: one, caring about anything is meaningless without wielding the requisite might to protect it, and two, living a life unfettered by close Emotional ties serve to protect one from pain and minimize the distractions that seek to deter one in their quest for personal growth. In layman's terms, Jiren is heavily afflicted with PTSD. His trauma, while it doesn't fully control him, certainly plays a part in his overall nature and how yeah, he holds himself. Fully he has formed a group of do-gooders with like-minded individuals, but he isn't... Cl- isn't close to any of them, nor is he close to any of those he saves beyond the usual hero-victim relationship. What appears to be a simple, rude, and standoffish character is eventually revealed to be yet another aspect of his complex and dual nature. Jiren wants to be freed from the burden of the past. He oh, wants doesn't. to blindly place faith and trust his friends and make that a part of his power as Goku does, but he can't. He simply cannot. And this is why he's so angered by the Saiyan's mere presence as well as the reason behind his attack on the stands upon realizing he was losing their battle. Jiren wasn't lashing out at Goku's friends. He was lashing out at his own insecurities, trying to destroy his past demons the only way he knows how, by brandishing the immense strength he has that was, ironically, cultivated as a result of those same demons. Now then, as detailed previously, Jiren's character and motivation center around the attainment of of personal strength, absolute personal strength, at the cost of completely doing away with strong and interpersonal ties. As Jiren believes, these are simple, simply a distracting and hindrance to reaching his goals, as well as a way to inadvertently open oneself to emotional trauma, to which Jiren is no stranger. Remember, he shows classic symptoms of PTSD after seeing his master and parents slaughtered. So then... What sort of people yes. flock to a character like Jiren? Becoming oh, diehard fans and singing his praises even when they're ridiculed for it. To put it simply, they are folks who look up to Jiren and see a measure of themselves in them. Not what they are, but what they could be. Jiren's deeds and adherence to a warrior's code. His strict refusal to allow anything to hamper his quest for cultivating the absolute best he can be. These are things that Jiren's fans aspire and look up to. Things that ring true to them. For they know they have the potential to do great things and become great men no matter how steep the cost. Much like Jiren himself. Even instilling admittedly silly monikers into Jiren's name. Chadrin, Godrin, and the like. Only serves to show that his fans are as confident. I've never heard people call them those by the way. As confident in their prowess and personal growth as he but still retain the ability to laugh and maintain a sense of humor. They use Jiren's strength and flaws as a way to further cultivate his growth as as a man, as men. And it is for those reasons, it is for this reason why many people see Jiren fans as almost fanatically loyal, insane zealots who live and breathe the object of their admir- admiration. Oh my God, I'm only like halfway done. This man is not playing. Oh man. <laughs> this guy's not stated a single feeling. All right, do what you gotta do. But this is not so. Jiren fans simply understand the value of the lessons Jiren's characterization teaches and genuinely believe that by atten- attempting to teach those lessons to people who don't understand that are making the world a better place. I, for one, agree with them. What then? Would, would drive a person to denounce and decry Jiren the Grey's immense popularity and positive effect on those who are able and willing to take his lessons to heart? At first glance, it may seem that Jiren's naysayers are many broad in scope, as varied as the rich characters Dragon Ball has introduced to us over the years. But the truth of the matter is thus, they comprise only a small, hardened, and extremely vocal core of those who post here, and smaller till still if you count all Dragon Ball fans from every walk of life. These are the kinds of people who see quite clearly the goals and motivation Jiren embodies, but rather than being inspired by these things, the naysayers allow their insecurities to take over and project them onto the character, and his fans whom they see as loudmouth trumpeters, when in reality they are simply intimidated by the confidence and physique of knowing of these knowledgeable souls project. Okay, okay, Seeing okay, a character okay. like Jiren and the positive changes he has wrought up upon many Dragon Ball fans, it's like a prof- positive I've never seen changes. This, a pro- proverbial 
proverbial slap. I heard the face. word, but I don't know exactly. Those in this ilk. Ilk. Gotta pay three thousand. Ilk is a word. It's looking into a mirror and the, despising what they see. It's having every shortcoming, failure, and flaw laid out before them in neat, trimmed little rows. It's been confronted by every demon, every poor pers- decision, every regret, every single instance of. But what if I had just? At the crux of this issue lie the dangers of self-doubt and even more damning, self-pity. As Jiren fans, it should be our sworn duty to reach out to these tortured souls and bring them into the light. The light of Jiren the Grey. The light that has cleansed many a weak, purposeless person and transformed them into the peak of manhood. Someone who shines blistering, blisteringly bright in a night sky of despair in the facade of true strength. This is Jiren's legacy, and so shall it become ours. <sighs> oh, gosh. Okay. What does that have to do with him being the best character in all of fiction? He, I know he fully explained Jiren's character and his, and his ideals, but that doesn't explain why he's the best character in fiction. That just doesn't, flat out. Okay. I want to try and sum it up before I say something. So it's like, he's saying Jiren's backstory with his parents dying before he's, he's like a normal guy, right? Well, when mm. did Jiren, when did Genji die? What the freak? <laughs> Keep dancing. So, with his parents dying and all that stuff, and his master, he realized there's no point in being close to people if you can't protect them, blah, 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 stuff like that. So he wanted to have all this power, and that PTSD of watching his people get slaughtered in front of him is the reason why... He doesn't want to, like, it's why he's not close to people. And he wants to, but he can't because of that PTSD. PTSD was not that serious. It wasn't even that bad. Goku is why Goku, uh, seeing Goku's friends support him and all that, and seeing how strong Goku is, even, I see it more as jealousy. Like, he saw Goku, he was able, Goku was, like, the only person who's probably been able to step up to Jiren, right? He's the mm. only person who's been able to step up to Jiren. So Jiren's like, how is this guy that's strong, even though he is connected to people? Because, like, you know, they if, if Jiren beats him, if, if Goku loses, all his friends are going to die. Everyone's going to die. So it's like, how is how is Goku getting the strong while having a close bond with these people when I couldn't have that? That's what I feel like. I feel like it's more jealousy, if you want to put it like this guy saying. Um, so that's why Jiren attacked him, because all he knows is power, I guess. But I feel like that's true. He did figure out Jiren's deeper meaning. I did not think of it that way at all. But I feel like it's irrelevant, because he took Jiren's story and just extremely described it uh, differently. I I feel like it's the same thing. I don't don't think that's... Okay. You think Toriyama really thought that deep into Jiren's character? Like, I, I, you really think he thought? I that mean, deep? I could see. I, I could, could see s- it, but like, I. Doubt I could it. really see it though, because it's like, yes, he's simple because he wanted a simple goal. That's why he looks so simple. He wanted the power. Watching his people die, um, that made him want to get more power, and that's why he cut bonds of people so he could just get strength because having a bond with people. It would make you weaker. I, but I just don't. I don't feel like that makes him like a great character. No, my biggest okay. problem with Jiren, which I feel, which he didn't address at all, is just how did he get here? How did he? How did he get here? There's no way he should be on those levels. And like, okay, he got those powers without crazy transformations or anything. Okay, but then how? Then what did he do? I want to know what this man did to be able to need a god form. The only forms gods can achieve, really, up until Goku was born. How did he, how did he get to that type of a strength? And then, no, I, I feel like... And then if that really is the backstory, it should not take some... this. It should not have taken this essay for me to understand that. I know everyone watching this... I know 90% of Dragon Ball fans did not have to think this deeply about Jiren's thing. There's no reason like, they should have had to come to that in the I, first okay. place. If they really wanted to portray it that way, 
we could have had some monologue or something. Because I wanted more to Jiren Sting. Because if, like, if this is really going to be the last character Goku's fighting off against in Dragon Ball Super, this is really going to be... Is this really how I want the character to be? No! No! It should have been something more complex. He makes it sound complex, right? This guy is using giant words throughout that whole thing. He makes it sound really complex. But I feel like to, if you really wanted to drive that point in, the show could have portrayed that better. But I guess that's the show's fault and not nearly necessarily Jiren's. We could say, yes, Christian, that this story is a is a stretch. Is that what you're saying? Because like, I'm saying Toriyama, like, you don't think Toriyama. I'm saying like, Toriyama is a very naive individual. He doesn't. He thinks deeply. Okay, I know he thought super deeply about the Saiyan and the Frieza saga, but do you think he really thought deeply about Jiren and then had the time to think of every other character in the Terminal of Power, including Goku, Vegeta, Kaba? Khalifa, yeah, all I don't those think. Characters. I don't think. And his designs have not been character. very simplistic. I because he said like it's standard for Toriyama to do that, but thinking of the other characters in Super, I feel like the only other simplistic thing we got was Goku Black taking Goku's body because then it's just then it's just Goku fighting Goku. Now it's just a Goku with purple pink hair. <laughs> I mean, um, but other it, than that, look, like at, Zom- look at all the like- characters he made for the Tournament of Power. I, I didn't think yeah. those guys looked very simplistic. Uh, Ani Raza was pretty new. Um, who else looked? I mean, I mean to be honest, Rebrian. We haven't seen a character like Rebrian in the show. Uh, that was pretty different. You know, everybody hated her. <laughs> uh, Frieza, Frieza is not simplistic. Look how many forms that man has. <laughs> uh, let's see what else we got. I, I mean, you can, you can say the golden form. You can say the golden form. Um, but yeah, and then up until Jiren, I feel like that's one of his worst designs yet. Like, okay, Probably yeah, it, it, for, it, it shows, it reflects his power and all, I guess, as being simple. But there you go. A simple design for a simple character. Just like you said it. Just like you said it, Mr. Virtual Crow. It's a simple design for the simple character he is. Parents died... His master died, and somehow, fast forward 40 years later, he's fighting in a in a tournament that will decide the fate of the universe against some OP man who has silver hair and power of the gods and can fight <laughs> hand-to-hand combat with that, all because of his parents dying. Wait, what did okay, Goku, another, another what did Goku did to get thing. there? Extreme work. Extreme work across... Hundreds of episodes, but I mean, I guess we'll never know how Jiren got that because the show didn't want to expand on it. Could Jiren have been a very interesting character if they, you know, took one second to explain a little bit further and, you know, maybe include some of the points you added in this guy's essay, like he said? Then yes, Jiren would be a better character, but no, they did not. What I would like to see is if right when Goku and Frieza were like, Slapping him up right before they all fell off together. And when Jiren was like, oh, this is the power of Universe 7's teamwork. Is they could have showed a... Right after where he said that, could have showed a flashback of a monologue of him saying exactly those points. Him saying... Uh, where did he write it in here? Writing about... Um, blah, 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 blah. Caring about anything is meaningless without willing the requisite might to protect it. Living a life unfettered by close emotional ties serves to project one from pain, protect one from pain, and minimizes distractions that can deter a quest for personal growth. That's what Jiren could have been monologuing in a backstory screen showing him training or something. He could have been saying that exact thing thinking, oh, I, I didn't think it was possible to even get this strong without, while having a, a close relationship with people that could possibly make you weaker in the end of the day. But, no, they didn't go that route. And so, that's kind of stretching, going for Jiren. Um, Midoriya is better than Jiren. And, um, yeah. So I should include that. <laughs> Any last words, Christian? I think I'm done. Um, now I gotta actually type it out and, and reply to this guy, what I just said. <laughs> so that's gonna be fun. I mean, okay. thing with Jiren's character... Okay, from listening to what you talk, 
it basically moved Jiren from my one of my least favorite characters to a decent character. But it took way too much mental gymnastics for him to come to that conclusion. He should it should not have to take super big brain power to figure that out. Cell mm-hmm. is a very. I've never heard of this from anyone else before. I don't know if anyone else has ever had like this you viewpoint. You shouldn't have to analyze a character like this in order to per- persuade an audience that. If, if the audience is not like the character, that's a bad character. I'm just being real with you. Maybe not that, but like, it's it's it's. Nah, I get honestly. what you're saying. It should be. It shouldn't have to take that much work for us to get this deeper meaning into Jiren. But I mean, I mean, he 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 poses a good argument for a character I had no respect for. He can get two percent of my respect, I guess. Two <laughs> percent. He gets more respect than that because he he put in the work <laughs> to try to convince. Uh, a dis, a, a no, Jiren gets two percent of my respect. This oh, guy, this about, guy is obviously uh, very smart. Probably knows more stuff than me. He, he only talks in big words, as I can see from his profile. So, um, who knows? I might even show him this video. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm looking at what he says. He's, he's quite the character. Jiren gets the the character. Of my respect. It kind of makes me want to type something up about Midoriya. This guy is a huge Jiren fan, then. Dang. What am but, I doing? Um, yeah, I think. Uh, are you done? I'm done. Yeah. Uh, that was this was random. I was not planning on this. Randomly came across this post on the Dokkan subreddit, uh, and then I I wanted to purposely start an argument with him because I saw he was a Jiren fan. Um, and more backstory on the guy. Supposedly he's freaking, uh, Jiren is the reason why he's going to be giving a prompt to his fellow classmates. I'm sure I mean, it's okay to like Jiren. It's just like, yeah, you better back it up with the right yeah. information. But his he, friend he is an English it. professor and he's going to read an excerpt about why Jiren's amazing. It's some uh, philosophy type stuff so uh this guy's pretty pretty big brain but i want to i want to i want to talk to him about it so i mean yeah but props to the guy for making this argument he, he, yeah, he gives very, a lot of my respect very, uh, concise argument but that's pretty much it um next video that'll be up is me and christian talking about um what is the <laughs> beautiful show called dragon ball super <laughs> oh man that's gonna be a long video <sighs> <laughs> but I mean, I think the Jiren portion might be soaring a little bit because of this, right? Once we I get mean, to Tormund of Power, we get up to Jiren's part. I don't think we got to say that much. You can't, you can't, here. you can't like destroy his character as much as you were going to in that video, which was which was one yeah. of your big bigger points. No, I much feel much more deeper about the Goku Black arc than do Jiren. <laughs> um, but Jiren was definitely probably second place after Goku Black arc. Definitely. Oh my God! No, I, I, I put I, the Saiyans. I put the universe six Saiyans above Jiren. <laughs> yeah. No, we, we'll Jiren. go into that. We'll go into that later. We'll go into that later. Yeah, all right. But yeah, my main point about Jiren is mostly his power. He should not be that strong. But I guess that's a common trend in Super. Everyone who should not be on their level is on their level, and their level. Uh, I mean, Goku Vegeta. Blah, blah, blah. There's a little preview. But yeah, that wraps video. it up. I gotta end it. I'll talk. I could talk all day, so I'm just gonna end it. Uh, yeah, that was it.